What's up guys, Dark Heartless here, and today we finally have Starfield. I've been very excited about this game. Um, I've actually tried to get no spoilers, no reviews, nothing about the game whatsoever because I was really uh, interested in playing this game from, you know, blind as I could be. Um, so hopefully you guys really like the series. I'm really excited to see how this game pans out. Um, a lot of people have sat there and said that this is kind of like uh, Fallout as far as like you can scavenge and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool to see what they come up with. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. May 7, 2330. Damn. The Mining Outpost. Alright, looks like we're on, I guess, like a ship of some kind. Not really sure. Oh, who are you? Are you just like checking me out, bro? Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, I work in the Stardock, except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A uh, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> I fucking love Heller. He's so cool. I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. I love that sarcastic humor. Alright, so we're basically like spaceship type of like okay. mining people. Let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what oh, I love about true. working in freestyle collective space? Pure regs. A job like this in the United Colony? Huh. Piece of red tape. Ugh. This one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid... Damn, Lynn rules with an iron Let's fist, go. bro. She ain't taking no ish from yeah, nobody. Yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exception. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. All right, well, at least Lynn, uh, she she basically uh, runs a tight ship, man. She ain't playing no damn games. So far, this game is really gorgeous. Like, I know a lot of people were complaining that it's only running 30 frames, but, like, as much detail as this shit's got, like, I'm perfectly okay with it. Like, this is insane. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Okay. Um, so I guess we just go where the little blue circles are? Yeah. <sighs> I think we'll be done here soon. No, probably not. Okay. Oh, there we go. 
bro, who, who are you? Lynch, sure you seems are like you trying to get lasered, bro? I, I don't know. have no problem ending your existence, bro. Alright, the last one is right here. It's this these, these controls are like very touchy. Like one one here. move and you'll be like on the opposite side. Come on. It's definitely something to get used to. You're with me. Okay. I, I thought we were gonna be with you the entire time. I thought this was my first day. What kind of training do you guys provide here, bro? Damn, that's a big ass dozer right there, bro. Right, Let's go. Roger, Roger. Ella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? <laughs> like, who cares? If we die, at least Supervisor Lynn gets her money, right? Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Exactly. As long as she gets paid, she We're doesn't care close. about our safety. I think. That's how most supervisors yeah, I mean, just... are. <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Oh, sure you will. Uh, I've seen enough Indiana Jones and uh, other movies where they send the uh, person who doesn't really matter into the areas where they don't mind if they uh, lose you. Still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Yeah, sure. I guess it is. Do you see anything? Um... This weird looking thing, I guess. I don't know, is that a rock? A mineral? I don't know what the hell this is. Alright. So we're just supposed to just blast it. Alright. Am I doing it on the wrong side? Okay. It's not it's not breaking. I don't understand what's going on. Hang on, let me see. Maybe get closer? Yeah, I don't... Damn, this must be like a really freaking big-ass rock thing, I guess. I don't know. Maybe go on this side now? Alright. That looks a little clear. Oh, there we go. I think I got it now. Yes, sir. We got it, boys. I don't know what the hell kind of metal this is, but... We got, what the hell? Like you have entered the Twilight Zone. Dusty. Snap out of it. Is my name Dusty or is that what my job is? Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Bob Ring Barker? Any, any of this look familiar? Forgot about All your right. hunting background. Not much use here on this damn rock, that's for sure. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Um... Not really. Um... Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. My dude over here's got a very nice clean like. cut. It's worth for more being than this in a mining facility month. for so Maybe. long. Alright, so let's go ahead and follow Supervisor Lin. 
maybe uh, Oin and Heller or a thing. You know? A constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the Explorers Group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Nah, that joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Well, that is such yeah, a cool, like, little detail Exploring thing. Like, you're space. going through there and shit, and that thing just stays it's on your helmet. That's pretty damn cool. Enough, but Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. All right, here we go. Bam! We got our helmet. Damn, the detail for this game is so damn insane. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and say because, I mean, we're only playing the first, you know, few hours of this game. But so far, the detail in here is incredible. I can see why it took them so long to do this game. Wow, it actually sounds like an actual aircraft. Like sometimes they, like when you play certain games, it it sounds like. Someone's using a damn... What the hell is that? A weapon? Oh, hell yeah. It sounds like they're using a damn uh, blow dryer. It doesn't even sound... It sounds nothing like an actual damn aircraft. But that's... Really fucking good. Alright, Lynn and Hella. I got you. I shall protect you with my life if it comes to it. I have a weapon now. Damn, Lynn. Okay, I see you, girl. Look at that backpack. It's really big. <clears throat> Trying to keep it PG in here. Barrett. Oh, Barrett. Man. Oh shit! Don't tell me we're gonna have to fight that robot. Are you friendly? Are you foe? <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy. Yeah, it almost cost me my life, bro. Right. I want 20 Everybody million. Went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Is this dude, Kazal, like, dumb? No he just said Kazal, like, how many times? After the I think Barrett be trying too much whiskey, bro. If that's still a thing. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? In our favorite rocket ship, bro. Um, you could call it that, I guess. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Damn, Barrett, Barrett, you bringing in enemies so soon? We're like maybe 20 minutes into the game, Barrett. What the hell? All right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's lock and load. Hopefully, I don't suck. It might probably take me a little bit to get used to the controls. Is this like the fifth element where they just all jump out and just start being crazy? Oh, I love the fact that it says 12 bullets right there. That's fucking lit. I love that. That's some good ass detail. But it's called pirates. And that's what they're just called. They're just called a pirate. And they don't have like any actual name or anything. It's just a pirate. Okay. Bam, sculpture. Don't peace out. Yo, buddy. Why are you running in front of my gun? That's not a very smart idea, but hey, you do you. Could have sworn I just blew your dome piece out. Okay. Alright. There you go, buddy. Oh, damn, my bad. I did not mean to blow that up. There we go. Alright, you're down. Anybody else? Damn. Alright. Um. 
Oh, so it does kind of look like Fallout. Okay, like when you're picking up items, uh, like I said in the uh, opening, some people uh, sat there and said that this is uh, like the pickup system is kind of like um, Fallout. I've never played a Fallout game. I know you guys can uh, savagely roast me in the comments if you choose. I understand. I have never played a Fallout game, ever. Not Fallout 3, not New Vegas, nothing. I've never, unfortunately, played it. Um, I've heard a lot of great things on Fall uh, about Fallout, um, which I eventually will um, play on the channel. Let's go ahead and get us a med kit. That's fucking cool. Gives you all the details about what the hell you're using. That's I love this. It's so, like, user-friendly. I don't have to sit there and, like, keep looking and looking for something. It's, like, already there. But, uh, yeah, definitely, eventually down the road, we will be playing uh, Fallout. Because I know a lot of people love that series, so. Um, I, I'm kind of waiting to see if uh, Bethesda is going to do kind of like a remaster like they did with did Quake. Because um, if you guys don't know, they've kind of put out Quake 1 and 2. So I, I've been kind of waiting to see if they're going to do the same thing for the, like, the PC uh, Fallout games. Um, just so I can do the whole series on the channel, but, um... Every time. What? Lynn, are you, are you sitting there saying you want to get jiggy with it? No, 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 no. That was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? I mean, I just love how you didn't help you at all. saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. Uh... You're part of this now. Uh, can I say no? Um, I don't even know what the hell to pick. Um, if they come, tell me what the other pick is. I mean, you ever stare up at the stars at night, wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. No, I've never really uh. Nothing I, wrong with honest I guess work. the Although, let's get us uh, off a spoon, bro. Uh, yeah, yes. See your point. Oh no, Barrett, no. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Thanks for everything, Just Lynn. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Like you're in love with well, me? I know. None of that settled. Fox My handgun no. skills are top-notch, bro. No Top tier. No unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Wow. We still use those watches 300 years in the future? That's a little insane, but hey, cool, I look guess. Hey, at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Oh, do we have questions? Boy, oh boy. There we go. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. A loot collector, you said. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And I was saying twenty. The answer, but that's just me. With your help. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Huh, okay. Oh, he's Technically, giving us a ship? not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Don't really know, uh, Come on. what Constellation You're means, really for not sure. at all curious about that light music show you experienced? No, Why because I have the music you? muted, so I didn't because hear any didn't notice, music at all. been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Wow, thank you. 
I I really didn't want to be part of hey, it, Bosco, but that's cool. Don't let him break my ship. You just said it wasn't your ship. I think this man's a liar. Can we trust him is the question. He just said it wasn't his ship. It's considered a loan, and now he's saying it's his ship. Hey, uh, Vasco, you, you walk a little a little weird, buddy, but hey, it's cool. I don't want you to blast me. All right, we just go over here into the hatch. All righty, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the first episode of Starfield. I'm really excited, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.